Hi folks, let me just, uh... right, welcome to another episode of uh, Rob's Engine Repairs. Now, something different for you in this video, we've got a uh, McCulloch BV, or should I say BV, GBV345, and as you can see, I've took the head off, etc. Uh, and I've had a look at the piston. It's scored a bit, but not too much. We can get away with that cleaning it up. But what, what my main thing is with this, is the piston, it's gummed up and stuck in. So obviously, it's not pushing the correct petrol that I want up to the piston and going bang. So in this video today, we're going to take that off and uh, we're going to give it a clean in there. And I just want to show you how I do it in uh, on these little two stroke machines. Because they can be a bit finicky and a bit uh, a bit of a ball out really. So what you will need I use a flat screwdriver, so now bear with me, folks. Just uh, move this out of the way. So, what we'll do, that might be a bit too big. Yeah. Who's the next one? Come up there, lovely. Not getting glare off that camera, am I? So let me check. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, let me put the uh Put the thingy light on here. There we go, it's a bit better. Right. So we need to get this uh, G clip out. So you want a pair of long nose pliers. Which these ones I've got here are absolutely bag of sh yeah <sighs> right Let's see if I don't think I'll be able to get them on these Bear with me a second, folks. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do it. We'll try and do it situated on the... Uh, on the piston. So what we're looking for is the bit where it splits which is there, yeah, I'm going to have to try and get this off, it's too, uh, it's too finicky. That is absolutely wedged in that. So, you want your G clip out, get your magnet tray, and then 
pop your gudgeon pin out just give it a little tap it should come out wrong way I don't think I'm gonna have to might have to split this you know thought I might have got it I am I'm gonna have to split it unless unless Tell you what I can do there, folks. I'll take it off the crank. Wow, look at the crap there as well. Unbelievable. Look at the crap in there. See that? Let me wipe that out and show you. Look at that. That is absolutely filthy. So we'll do it the easy way. We'll take it off the crank. So we eliminate that completely. So now all we're left is the little tiny piston. Alright. So I'm going to get a bit of blue roll. Tell you what folks, just let me uh, position the camera and I'll get back to you. Come back. So we uh, Bit of better camera position there for you so I can show you what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, obviously I've checked the barrel. And the barrel is, is lovely. Lovely and smooth. No build-up. So, just clean all this out. I can't believe how much slurry and sludge we can bottom of that. That were all going in crank. Wow, shocking. Right. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna knock this pin out so we can have free access. Uh, in fact, we'll take this G clamp out as well. G clamp. Come on now. If I will just knock it out, it'll be easier. It will be easier. Yeah, folks, I hope you like the video uh, of Ian when Ian Matthews come. And uh, you know, he's a lovely bloke. Thanks for the shout out, Ian. Top man. And uh, yeah. I've got a bit more scrap for you, so we need to sort something out, mate. I'll be in touch. Right, so that's giving me a bit of room for that now. So let's get this out. This should just pop out. Like so, 
and it should flow across the room. Brilliant. Not to worry, folks, because I have got another. So we're all right. So that should just push out now. But it's only tiny. So just be, be gentle. stuck in the that is stuck in now you just need to be careful folks with these Well, that is why I said you need to be careful because it's just broke the skirt on it. See that? Well, that's my own fault. That's my own fault, that is. But what I'll do for the purpose of the video anyway, I'll uh, obviously, I'm only human, as we all are, you just pop your ring out, usually a bit of heat, usually a bit of heat will sort them out, look, just pop out, uh, let me show you, Obviously, you don't need too much heat because you'll melt the uh, you'll melt the piston. So, careful because that piston will be very hot so just start working it out it will come undone The amount of crap in there. I'm just showing you what's going to be underneath this, guys. So I'm not too fussed about breaking that ring. Cause I've got, I've got spare. So if you can just see the amount of crap between that ring. So what's happening more is obviously the rings comp it's compressed. So the whole point of your piston is is to push push fuel up obviously for it to bang. But if you just look here, if I show you this for a second, look at the amount of crap in that. So that's just build up over the years. What is absolutely no good. So I might as well just bang that out now completely. Obviously, because I need the crank. 
out the middle and the gudgeon pin so let me just knock this out folks there we go so there's the seal the crank and the bearings Which to be fair, I've seen better days as well. Yeah, that's goosed as well. So it's a good job that happened when it happened. Because it's completely shot in there. There's no movement on that whatsoever. So... Well that's that folks, so let me have a look in my box of tricks and see what I've got here. complete spur engine is that it? I think it is yeah it is be careful Rob so folks this is why I never ever took anything away. So we've got complete spare unit. So I'm not gonna bother with that folks, this video. I just wanted to show you uh, the rings out why you know how they're gumming up and why it just uh, just check obviously that it, the machine would really struggle to fire uh, and obviously with the rings not pushing the fuel up you, it's gonna splurt you'll never be able to tune it correctly it'll just run like a bag of shit basically so in a nutshell what we are gonna do is it's the exact same machine we're going to clean everything up. I'm going to throw that in the ultrasonic. This carby. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take the crank off and the piston complete. Give it a once over. Give it a clean. I will film it guys. And I will put it on. But this is just a quick one about the piston. So yeah. So obviously there's a few. With a two stroke. you got to remember. Vacuum. No vacuum. No bang. Uh, compression. Your spark, your fuel, if you've got all them, should be good to go. But yeah, that's another reason why your machine might not run, is your rings might be gummed up. Well, there's another one for you folks. And I will uh, return with the next uh, instalment of the GVV345. So... If you're not subscribed to the channel, please head over and consider subscribing. Be a massive help. Uh, I'm trying to push for that thousand before end of summer, uh, and then uh, onwards and upwards, isn't it? And there's some good content coming up, actually, folks. To be another, ex I'm getting my shed extender at the side here, so I'll be filming that. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Stay safe, guys. God bless you.